Hello everyone, this is Dr. Patrick Dix coming back at you with another video. I want to thank my subscribers and I want to also thank my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel again. I put content out there to help everyone, so please feel free to share it with anyone and come back and enjoy many more of my videos. And if you want to do a consultation with me, go to the DixConsultingGroup.com in the upper right hand corner, click consultations and book a consultation with me and we can figure out how to help you overcome many of the hurdles that life throws at us and just you know i'll talk to you about how to come up with a game plan but i'm here to help you out the title of this video today is a c h i know many of you are wondering where is dr dix going with a c h i'm glad that you asked that question ACH is automated, automated clearinghouse. Sorry about that, I stumbled. But again, it stands for automated clearinghouse. Basically, that's how you're paid and that's the deposits that go into your bank account. Basically, it is a subsidiary of electronic funds transfer. So basically, this is how money is transferred from your employer to you. And the reason I'm bringing up this subject is a lot of people don't have a lot of ACH going into into their account, but they have a lot of debits going out of their account. You know, there's an old saying that says death and taxes are the two things that are promised in life, which they are. And many people fear the IRS. I'm going to be honest with you. You need to be fearing ACH. You as an individual should have as many deposits going into your account as you can. I've expressed this in several videos. I've talked about it on streams. We are in a time to where it is so expensive to live. And if you don't have the correct skill set or if you don't have enough money, you will be homeless. Men or women, women and children. It doesn't matter who you are right now. Everybody is feeling the pressures of life. That's why mental health is at an all time high. That's why we have a lot of violence going on and, and it relates to a lot of things. You know, people are not used to being without people are used to having more. But I'm asking you, where do you see yourself at in the next couple of years? Are you going to have a lot of ACHs in your account, which stands for automated clearing houses, or you're going to have a lot of debits? You know, there is a guy on YouTube I've been following for years. His name is Nino Brown, 305. If, you know, y'all have ever listened to him, he'll talk about grape, grape and all this. One of the best sayings I've ever heard him say is, life is like a bank account. You get in what you put out. And he also states, you can't withdraw from some place you never put anything in. That speaks for life and it speaks about your financial future. If you never put money into a bank account, you can't go to the bank trying to withdraw trying excuse me trying to withdraw so i'm asking you what skill set do you have to make yourself a lot of money i know i'm on here talking about money all the time but money is pretty much the basis of everything having good physical health requires money having good mental health requires money i don't know about you but i've been through the point to where i didn't have when i was in college i wasn't poor but i remember the times in like 2008 or nine, when the first recession happened, I had to decide sometimes, do I put gas in my car or food? And I couldn't really go out and do anything because, you know, I majored in computer science, so I had to write programs and study. And those moments put the taste in my mouth. I never want to be without. Also, the business that my dad left my brother and I, the auto paint and body shop, sometimes we would mess up cars and we would have to redo them. We would have to ask our friend for money or we would borrow money from my sister or my mother. And I remember saying to myself, I never want to be like this when I get older. You know, I was doing that in my 20s and I stated to myself again, I never want to be poor because you go through those hurdles in life and they refine you and they make you a better person. But you have to also remember what do you what are you willing to do to not get back to that point? Not having is a bad feeling and not knowing where your life is going to take you is even a worse feeling. That's why I make these videos to reach people and to let them know you have to have a plan for life. You have to know how to execute it. You have to have a skill set. If you don't have a skill set, there are thousands of schools online. There are trade schools you can go to to earn a good career. You don't have to get in all this debt. 
like many of us to get a good career right now. As I stated before, technical school certification trainers are via online. People are going to look at you. The pandemic started, let's say, March 2020, and it is March 2023. People are going to look at you and ask you, what did you do with your time? You're going to hand a resume in and you're going to say, hey, the company I was with paid me for 18 months and I just got laid off. People are going to ask you as I'm reiterating, what did you do at that time? Did you goof off? Did you travel? Did you go to the DR? Did you go to Columbia, etc.? You have nothing to show for the last 36 months of your life. That's nobody's fault but yourself. You can't blame the presidents, the two presidents we had, Donald Trump or Joe Biden. You can't blame race. You can't blame religion. You got to hold yourself accountable. You must be accountable to make it in life. Please remember that. I wanted to just come online and, you know, make this video because this was on my mind right now and say, I want to talk to people about automatic, automated clearinghouse. Excuse me, still get stumbled up saying it. It's very, very important to make sure you have as many green drafts in your account. I mean, green deposits in your account and minimum withdrawals. You have to put something in to get something out. Work hard, believe in yourself, strive for it. And if you are around negative people, do not be the next negative person. Remove yourself. I don't care if it's family or friends, because when you're broke, nobody's going to be there. When you're rich, everybody's going to be there. Remember the people that were with you when you didn't have anything. And as you move up the ladder of success, many of those same people will turn against you. So you're going to find yourself becoming alone. You're going to find yourself alone. So learn to deal with success on your own and travel and however you want to celebrate yourself. But remember, many of the things in life that you're going to attempt, there is no game plan. You're going to be doing it on your own. But the biggest thing is to plan, plan, execute, and plan again. Again, this is Dr. Patrick Dix. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Feel, feel free to share it, like, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.